Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that resale guy. Got a shipping tip here for you today. On eBay, I sold a couple bats, so I'm gonna show you how I ship out a bat now. There are a couple different ways you can do it. A couple that are simple, a couple ways that take a little more work, but just depending on what supplies you have, I'm gonna show you how to do it a few different ways. So uh, stay tuned, watch them all, and uh, maybe you'll learn something here today. The simplest way is with one of these triangular mailing tubes from the USPS. Now, these come two-sided. One says Priority Mail Express. That side you don't wanna use. This is overnight shipping. So this is gonna cost you a lot of money if you use the blue side here. You wanna flip over to the red side. This is Priority Mail Shipping. So they come flat like this. You can either get them from your local post office, sometimes they do carry them, or you'll have to go online to usps.com, go into the shipping supplies, look up this triangular tube. There's two different sizes, a small and a large. So make sure you order the larger size because the smaller one will not fit a bat. So there is a little bit of a learning curve on folding these, just getting them done properly. So you're doing them quickly, not spending too much time, but they just have these flaps. You fold them over, you tuck the three flaps into the three different holes and then you get two open ends down here. So the ends, you just fold in and then tuck in the tab as well. Now I do recommend you put a couple pieces of tape around the end. It shouldn't come apart, but just to be safe, throw a couple pieces around the end just to kind of make it a little more secure. You got your open end here and it's pretty simple. The bat just goes inside. There's a couple extra inches, so I suggest putting a piece of paper down at the bottom end and a piece of paper at the top end. Just keep it from rattling around too much and uh, fold it up, ship it. Again, you're gonna use priority mail shipping. It's not a flat rate, so depending on how far your item is shipping and how much this box weight is what you'll be charged. But tube is the easiest way and the cheapest way because these boxes are free through the USPS. Option number two is if you have a mailing tube that is big and long enough for the bat. Now, this one here I got from Office Depot. I think I ordered them online. I ordered a whole case of them. But this is a 31 inch long tube, which isn't gonna fit most adult bats. They're gonna be 33 to 34 inches long, so they're not gonna fit in these. So you have a couple options. You can cut off an extra piece of tube for a couple inches, put your bat inside, and then add that piece of tube to the top, tape around a lot, and then that will work. These are more costly rate because these tubes cost you anywhere from a dollar to probably three dollars just depending if you can get these for free definitely it's a good way to go too protects these even better than the triangular tube because it fits in here a little better it won't rattle around as much but like i said you gotta do a little extra work and uh fix the length so now if you are shipping out a little league bat or a t-ball sized bat that does fit in here it works great. You just put the cap in. Again, I tape around the end. If it's over pound, you're gonna have to ship it out priority mail and it's gonna cost you anywhere from probably eight to $12 depending on where it's going. All right, here's a third option for you. You don't have either of the other boxes. So this box here, I actually bought from Walmart. I think they cost about a dollar. It's the small size, 14 by 14 by 12. This one does take a little more time and effort. You gotta do a little cutting down. So you're gonna need, so you're gonna need a knife of some sort. Need to trim the box down. So I cut off one panel of the box and we're gonna to need to cut off the end flaps as well. We're just gonna use this middle part right here. All right, so this is what we're left with right here. Put the bat in the middle and you're basically gonna make your own triangle here. What I like to do is gently score one side of the box here a little bit, just kind of go down and give yourself a little point here where it's gonna fold. Got the bat like this now. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now, obviously you can have a lot of taping to do, but you basically made your own triangle. You can cut down the size of the end to fit the exact size bat you have. Make sure you tape up all your edges really good, but you've made your own little triangle mailing tube. And again, this is probably gonna have to go out priority mail. It's gonna weigh over a pound and it will ship by size and weight. So there's your three options. You can make your own tube, buy a mailing tube from Staples or any other office supply store, or use the triangular tube from the USPS. 
All right, I hope this video helped out. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up down below. And uh, if you want more tips like this, hit that subscribe button as well. So thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.